Also, no, that cycle's nowhere near where I wanted it. <laughs> There's a backup skip. Oh, wait, can you bounce off of the pole that's, like, just to the left of that, that one? And bounce up to it that way? <laughs> This is the first time I've ever thought about doing that. I didn't know there was a backup before now. Or is it something else? Yeah, I did do an extra spin. Oh, that. No. Yeah, no. No. I didn't break that last one. I looked before the portal went barely on the far side and jump again. Oh, I see. a take. <laughs> Muzz, how would you feel if I started playing on PAL and I beat your time on PAL? Nope. I, I don't care about the final loss. I'd rather finish a run than worry about that. That'll get you to start playing again? Ooh, now I know. No, that's kind of what I mean, though, Nitroff, is like... Okay, here's the... here's the thing. I agree, in general, that learning about global cycles for the community is important. Knowing global cycles has made the route what it is. Really? If you want to get a decent time in this game, you don't need to worry about them. That's all I'm saying. It's good to know where to death abuse, and it's good to know how to play quickly, but if you know how to do both of those things, then just deal with whatever cycles you end up with, and they'll probably usually be the right ones. I guess I feel defensive about my opinion. <laughs> I can imagine many people getting angry at me for saying that. I'm also saying it partially in response to not anybody here, but the many times I've heard people say, some of best is a meaningless statistic in this game. Because I, I don't think it is. I think it isn't perfect, as it is in a lot of games, but I think some of best is always going to be an estimate Okay. Okay. And so, yeah, I mean, if you catch better cycles than you should, your Sama Best might end up being 20 or 30 seconds off. I don't think that makes it meaningless. Like a lot of people claim. I had a funny attempt. 
attempt at this level the other day. That box that is the last one before that stack of bouncy crates, um, I just forgot to get it and then remembered right before I hit the exit and just turned around and fell down and got it. That was, that was a good one. The biggest thing in this game is not zigzagging either. I mean, it's important, but I have... I have learned the way. I do not need to zigzag as fast as I generally have been to catch cycles that I want to anyway. Jump. Anyway, this has been Hot Takes with Toaster. I can't wait till I have a sub 110 and my Hot Takes mean anything. <laughs> I think it's just, it doesn't usually take much work to keep your sum of best fairly accurate for most games, uh, but for Crash it can. I mean, not even much work, but more work than other games. You know what I mean. Yeah, yeah, we're on the same page. Just erase the fake splits. Yes. Yeah. yeah. 
Honestly, a lot of this is exactly why I don't keep splits for a lot of categories. <laughs> Especially if I'm just starting to run something. Uh, the probability of doing things out of order and messing up splits and golds just seems like more work than the splits are actually <laughs> worth. I've only moved splits around one time on these splits. Uh, when I moved uh, Whole Hog. No, not. Yes, when I moved Whole Hog, so it was before upstream instead of after. I don't need to get those. Uh, and that only ended up saving time on both of those splits, so I didn't even have to change anything. I saw that was coming and I went anyway. I'm a dummy. All I know is I golded Whole Hog by like 15 seconds the other day, so... Don't go for that. I don't have a mask. I do really like this level's gem path. The red gem path in the clouds looks nice. The rest of the level I can take it or leave it. Let's just wait. That was a little slow. Three is a perfectly fine island one. That'd be cool, Muzz. Whoa. I went super far to the right there. How does the Rolling Stone gem path work? Is it just that, uh, when the gems are there, there isn't a death plane there? Or does the death plane get deactivated when you land on the gem, or what? Interesting, interesting. Actually. So I had to get up there before those come back anyway. Ooh. 
not sure why I went so far left at the end, either. Yeah, you need to get down there and then find a way to skip out, too. Oh, if only. If only. Again for the raid. Just for you, Nitro. If this run's gonna be a 115. I'm gonna do it. <clears throat> oh, that is annoying, Muzz. Hey, now, I need that. Okay, sure. I'm behind here, though. Yeah, I, I can't catch that. Oh, well. Okay, so they're both there, so I'm gonna go, and then I'm gonna wait till these two are out, and then I'm gonna go again. Yeah. Learning! Whoa! Why did the lizard pop back up for a second? You guys saw that, right? I'm not crazy. <laughs> what movement?
don't know why I was spinning across those platforms like that. I know I can't usually catch a faster cycle there anyway. There we go. Good level. Good temple ruins. I've been getting a little better about beating this hog. If I just jump off of that breakable plank instead of any later, I usually uh, usually jump over it just fine. That's wrong. <laughs> okay, whatever. better at jumping over that post. That's been kind of nice. That's not always something I was able to do. I didn't think I was going to be spin time right there. That surprises me. What do you think, Muzz? Is this fast enough for boulder skip? <laughs> no, not even close, still. been getting better at tearing through that section uh, with those bats as well. I've been happy about that. And I can catch this. I've waited on that a few times lately, but I don't need to. Oops. Oh. Gonna damage there intentionally. Okay, I don't know where the cycle is. This cycle still confuses me. Because I feel like the... I feel like it should be pretty consistent from the death abuse in, um... 
in Boulder Dash, but it clearly isn't. The way the place those walls are varies for me still. Those walls uh, at the bottom, right before going on the vertical part. And then, yeah, I'm not always at this point in the cycle, and I, I don't know why. Oh, that's something. Toaster, do you think I can... something. Get a better lap time rank on this track. Uh, yes. I think you can do it, Golf. I should have gone. Oh well. Yeah, sure. Oh, I gotta wait actually, cause bats. Oh well. Yeah, the global cycle's in a weird place now. I'm... I'm behind. Or I don't know, maybe I'm ahead. <laughs> I'm behind, I'm kidding. Imagine me being ahead. Oh. Oh, thank goodness. I thought I was too far over. Okay, can we catch the cycle? What do you guys think? Can we catch the fastest cycle here? Come on. Oh, not quite. <laughs> oh, well. I did that in a run yesterday, I think. For the first time, <laughs> I caught that. I was super proud of myself. Golded the level by like half a second or something. I guess I was ahead of the cycles. <clears throat> Again, I don't really know why. I really feel like from the death abuse in Boulder Dash to where global cycles matter in Sunset Vista, that should be consistent. Oh, you know what? I caught a faster spinny platform cycle um, than I usually do. That's what it was. You guys know the ones. <laughs> that was a good RNG. Okay, give me three more of those. enough. Golf does not know. SMH kid. I mean, that was a good place to throw the boulder. Not a great time for a minecart. <laughs> we called it Koala Kong again! 
Oh my god, second time on these splits, getting a gold there. And the last time was like less than a week ago, I think. So that's pretty cool. That said, I can still gold that by like four more seconds <laughs> with good RNG. I had an attempt recently on Koala Kong, damn it, um, that would have golded by, yeah, like four seconds or something, except I was a dummy and accidentally hit the last uh, boulder into a uh, minecart. Okay, okay. That was a lot closer than I would have liked it to be. Happy to catch those there. Oh, go on. Heck. Oh well, that's fine. Triple Mask is not needed for this level, it's just kinda nice there. I'll take that. Oh, crud. <laughs> oh well. I guess I'm going into Cortex Power Maskless. I should have just not done that damage abuse. Oh well. Hey, speaking of things I've been doing better. That section at the end there, I think I finally started getting that movement down. And my root beer is empty. And Hangman is back. Because he can't sleep. PogChamp. You're just in time, Hangman. I've thrown two runs to this level recently. My last two runs that got here, I think? I think it was my last two runs that got here. I mean, I didn't entirely throw them here, but it was mostly here. I mean, except for when I do need masks. But like other than there, who needs masks? Just working on your book, exciting, exciting. I hope the writing is going well. Don't choke, don't choke, don't choke. <laughs> That was the first part I was worried about choking. I can still choke a lot of the rest of this level, but it's embarrassing when I choke that part. Oh, damn it. I hate when I hover around above the wall. That's the worst. Nope, that's not it. I started the spin too early. <sighs> that's fine. There it is. And then I've also been choking the exit to the skip, so let's see how this goes. Oh, I can't see. We got it. <laughs> okay, we're fine. Let's go. We're losing a bunch of time because of how long it took to get the entrance, but we didn't die. So we're good. Must said, don't joke.
So it's not terrible to fail, right? Well, it, uh, it's not embarrassing to fail. <laughs> and actually, here's the funny thing. If I do fail it, I can still get, like, a 117. <laughs> with a goal of sub-120. I have decided to stop doing the bounce from that crate onto that platform, just because I keep beefing it, and I don't like beefing it. I've also decided to start waiting. Don't spin there. Oh my god. Uh, I decided to start waiting on that one camera drone. Just because I found it hitting me often, and me dying often. Like, either it hits me, or I spin and don't get a jump on the platform after it. Oh, hey, Muzz, by the way. Uh, news that it... What? What? Did I just fall through that? I didn't walk off the edge of that. That's unfortunate. Okay. Apologies to Nitroff, I don't think this can 115 anymore. Sad to say. Anyway. Um... Muzz, since you do emulator speedruns fairly often, um... I saw... On Twitter today, somebody made an OBS plugin uh, that lets you uh, take an application as a sound source in OBS. So you don't have to choose between, like, emulator sounds and other computer sounds. You can just tell OBS, only get audio capture from this window. And I suppose, Golf, you do stream PC stuff as well, so that may be of interest to you. But I know that's something a lot of people have wanted for a long time, so... Thought I would pass it on to you too. I'm almost tempted to do another at everyone in my Discord about it, but... I don't know that it's that important. This level's shorter than I thought. Never mind. 115 is still possible. It's not gonna happen, but it's possible. Oh, that's good, Hangman. It's good to... Feels good to have a plan in place. Basically, Golf, if I don't die again, this should 115. So, I mean, not even the, like, no, it's impossible way, just, like, it, it's probably not happening. But unironically, yes, there is a chance it could happen. Cycle, that's fine. We're fine. That's what we have masks for. Take my guess on what. Last race, your best lap was 487. This is... 212. That's my guess.
Wait, really? <laughs> oh. Kappa. The emote that famously means, yes, I'm being genuine right now. 383. I was basically right. I had it that it was number, different number, first number. <laughs> Screen. It's my favorite. <clears throat> oh, I did not hang, man. I don't pay much attention to Deo's Discord. I only have a couple channels there unmuted. It's third and fifth, not first and fifth. And thank you, Musgrove. Doing your your duty. Stop motion animation, nice, nice. Those are cool. I can't catch that. Oh, I probably could have actually. That bird doesn't go so high. It doesn't matter. I would have. I would have been here anyway. Nope, gotta wait. I probably could have caught that if I just went for it, but haha, I imagine that. Wumpa. Yeah. Yeah, gimme that Wumpa. <laughs> God, if I ever decide to go for it as an indie game developer, I am absolutely going to make one game, and then, if I can, the next year, make a remastered version of the game. <laughs> Keep the game simple enough so that in that time I can actually rebuild it from the ground up. I think that'd be really funny. Definitive it 
fish of the year after. Hell yeah. God, can we just take a second to appreciate MetaNet? I mean, I know we do already pretty often, but like, the fact that Ultimate Update was free DLC. Okay, that's never happened to me before, but I'll take it. I didn't die. Yeah, and literally doubled the size of the game. Goddamn, MetaNet, you're so cool. I don't know, maybe it's because the main modern game, I mean relatively modern game, that I played, like, you know, six or seven years ago, was V2, which was a free online game. The concept of MetaNet making a bunch of levels and saying, yeah, they're free, just sounded normal and right to me at the time. But over time, and actually looking at the games industry more, I've just appreciated that more and more with time. They really didn't have to do that. Yeah, absolutely. They could have asked for another 15, 20 bucks for it or whatever, and I think everyone in the community would have gladly handed that over. But, uh... Yeah. Yeah. They're cool. Oops. Wait here. Disgusting. Imagine waiting in a speed run. It occurred to me the other day I should be doing those boxes right to left so I can pick up the mask immediately. <laughs> Did not think to do that until just recently. didn't die. <laughs> Wasting spins, I'm gonna need a few here. Okay. It's fine, small time loss, small time loss. We're fine. Who knows where the cycle will be, but also who cares? shouldn't have gone for it that way. What, 62? That's a pretty good number of lives. This game is way better than Reboot. Yes. That is a nice thing about this game. It's hard, but it just constantly chucks lives at you. <clears throat> 
not nearly as good as The Mummy. Because in this, the lives look like the face of Crash Bandicoot, but in The Mummy, the lives look like the face of Brendan Fraser. So, obvious, obvious winner there. Okay, let's go. Yeah, we're not losing too much time here. Gosh, you know, Crash Bandicoot modding is a thing now. Someone really needs to make the Brendan Fraser mod and just replace the life icon with Brendan Fraser's face from the mummy. When's that gonna happen? Muzz, you've got your finger on the pulse of the Crash community, right? Make it happen. If there's one thing I know about Muzz, it's that he's active in the Crash community. And he loves Brendan Fraser. That's the one thing. The one thing I know about Muzz is those two things. <laughs> said don't, and then Crash did it anyway. <laughs> what the heck, Crash Bandicoot? What the heck, Ham Sandwich Coot? Oh, get up there. Frager? Of course I am. I would know. I'm Frager. <laughs> okay. I love how easy that box bridge is. <laughs> Like, once I'm decent at the game, how easy that box bridge has gotten, I mean. That's one of those, like, milestone things of, like, yeah, I've gotten better at this. Oh! What?! Did you hear the sound? God, I just remembered a comic I saw a while ago that I just loved. Somebody, uh, made a short comic series about, or maybe it was just a few panels, about if Fraser and Niles were in the world of Bloodborne. And it was hilarious. <laughs> they, they really captured the writing of Fraser and Niles, like, perfectly. <laughs>
Gotta wait. Don't need to. Didn't want to hit that. Didn't want to hit any of that. Yeah. That's why. Okay, okay. Heck, I could have gone. I need to wait like three cycles. One more, one more. David Hyde Pierce, and yes, he is perfect as Niles. Ooh. I don't know, golf. Leftover pizza rarely sounds like a bad idea. I hope it goes well. Yeah, but it's 3 a.m.? Yeah, but it's pizza! I don't know why I just went blindly. I I didn't know where the cycle was. <laughs> oh, I almost caught that cycle. That would have been new. I'm gonna wait. Because I don't trust myself. I shouldn't have gone. I sh ah, that's fine, that's fine, we're fine. Okay, we got that. Okay, good. Good, good, good. Oh, that would be really cool. Yeah, David Head Pierce has a good voice.
Good. Ooh, crash. Don't fall through the ground, please. <laughs> Not now. gonna happen. After I promised Nitroth the 115, this is gonna be like a 11601 or something, isn't it? Hey Reggie. <laughs> bits. Golf, how many bits are you up to? <laughs> Did I turn notifications off? They're supposed to be on. The alerts uh, source is on in OBS for me. Zandot sponsored content. I was super far left there and was a little worried I was about to go in the portal. <laughs> That's fine. That's fine. not re-entering Papu Papu as much as I want to. As much as my brain said, yes, I will not. Thank you, Muzz, for the one bit. I gotta wait. I guess I could have damaged through that. <laughs> Wouldn't have really mattered.
Okay. And then I can damage here just fine. Yeah. Nope, give me that. Ah, no sounds. I don't mind there not being sounds. TBH. Alert sounds can be a little much for me at times. A little too much for my feeble heart to take. That's true, Muzz, but Fast and Furious uh, wins the box office numbers, so... Gotta consider that. No, I'm gonna... I'm gonna play things safe. I keep saying that and I keep dying late in the level, but... Regardless, I'm still gonna try to play things safe. I suppose the fact that I play them safe is why I keep dying late in the level and not early in the level and many times. <laughs> Instead, it is much more likely I will die once right near the end. <gasps> what? What? God, this level! I cannot get through this level a single time. And the dumb stuff, it, like, if I was always dying on the gem path, I would say, like, oh, well, I guess I gotta practice that more, but I keep getting through this just fine on the first pass. And all of my deaths are stuff that happens on the main part of the level. And I don't understand it. It's fine, it's fine. Of the places to die in this level, that one is not that bad. Is that, uh... No, I'm good. Okay. Get out of here. No, that's fine. That's probably just like a minute lost or something. That's not too bad. Remember, again, my goal is 120. <laughs> like, this shouldn't be an issue. I don't want to say it and jinx myself, but all I need to do is not die again. <laughs> I did it, I said it, and I probably jinxed myself. I'm gonna get three deaths at the end of Boulder Dash now. All because Toaster had to open his fat mouth. Also, my phone buzzed, and I'm really curious what it is, but I know I shouldn't check right now. It's probably just like a Twitter notification or some garbage. Shut up, brain. You don't need to see it. Now is not the time. Ooh, got that cycle. Nope. Nope. Okay, sure. Gonna wait, just gonna wait it out. <sighs> okay, I can check right now. What is it? Oh, I got an email. Okay. Uh, go fund me. I 
supported a few weeks ago had an update. <sighs> Two more levels. This is, by far, the best pace I've ever been on. Actually, you know what? We can compare to the PV for the rest of this. Why not? I just want to remind everybody, again, because I know some of you can get emotional with my speedruns, I'm sure. Uh, these last two levels aren't free. I've died on them many times. I didn't want that mask, I forgot. Um, point is, PB is not free. It's not a guarantee. Don't get attached. That's all. Yeah, I usually lose one of my masks in the level by the point I get to that one, so I completely forgot to <laughs> just skip it. Good, Muzz. As you shouldn't be. You know, actually, I'm sorry, I do want to compare to best segs, just so I can see how close or far I am from golds as they're coming. This one is not golding, I don't think. This is too long. Or maybe it's barely golding? I'm not sure. Oh, almost. Oh! Tiny gold. Okay. Golf is always attached to every run. Golf lives a life full of disappointment. Now remember, there was that one PB that was my PB for a month, where I died twice on this level, so... Again, no attachment. Hey Muzz, should I go for boulder skip on this run? <laughs> time just boulder skip save. Like, I guess that's hard to say because it kind of depends on how quickly you got to the exit to begin with. But, uh, yeah, like, assuming you could have gotten boulder skip and chose not to by just waiting, how much time would it save? Can't be that much, right? Yeah, like 10 seconds? That's what I was thinking. It feels like such a big time save, but it really... It's just this time where the boulder's coming at the end, so it can't be a whole lot. Please don't embed crash. Please. Good, we're good. Okay. Time to watch me blow three minutes on uh on Great Hall. Throw to Cortex time, let's go. 
Love throwing for content. Pepsi. Thank you, Pepsi. Now is the time for that, yes. This song. Can I just shout out to the Great Hall song? It's quiet, but god, it's so good. We did it. Okay. Oh. Hi, <laughs> YouTube. Uh, no, Reggie, according to the last jump screen, I am at 100%. <laughs> On the last one, it jumps from, like, 35 to 100. Don't you know how counting works? The, uh... The percent counter in this game is actually running in base 36. How many places does that bump me up the leaderboard? It's gotta be a few, right? I'm 27th. That brings me up to... 20th! Oh my god, we're top 20! Top 20 on PS1, let's go! Champ. Pog Pog, Champ Champ. I'm gonna open a bigger layout real quick. Uh, just so I can get a larger screenshot. God. Uh, no. No, not at all. Uh, world record is a 109. I need to switch to FDS and start doing a new trick. Oh, on PS1, yeah, probably. I think I've had the fastest one for a while. Uh, platforms, PS1, yes. Wait, no, hold on. Yes, yes, definitely. The second fastest on NTSC U Hundo was a 122. I, I beat that a while ago. Uh, but there are a bunch of NTSC J runners that are faster than me. Although they're all on emulator from years ago, so I suspect they were all on EPSXE and had like a two minute bonus over me. <sighs> so yeah, if this was on PS2, this would be about four minutes faster, which would get me up to 12th. That would have been, that would have been cool. <laughs> It's like a low 113, and then there were a couple of levels where I lost more than a minute each. So if I didn't mess those up, that would have been like a low 111. With, um, Cortex Power, I lost like 30 seconds on the entrance, that would have been a high 110. And then, with Upstream Skip, that would have been like a 109. Yeah, so I just need a flawless run on FDS with Upstream Skip. Perfect. We got this. We can do it. Oh my god. I'm very happy that this happened. I can finally plug in my PS2 and be done. 
move on to PS2 reboot and some herbs and some rocket power, Team Rocket Rescue. 